That's right. So hopefully no one's moaning about the warmer weather. Uh, is Peter Strachan moaning about the resource industry? Oh, a little bit. Look, the Reserve Bank of Australia has left the interest rate unchanged at 2%. And exploration company Impact Minerals, well, they're reporting more positive results from their Red Hill mine near Broken Hill. So mining analyst Peter Strachan, well, he has the latest in the resource report. The optimism we saw, the market should have a steady volumes which were expected were <laughs> Well, we've had a uh, pretty major recovery in uh, stocks over the last few days. I guess the economic numbers out of the United States are indicating that interest rates there will be lower for longer. And despite the fact that uh, some of the um, underlying sort of economic indicators, like the service indicator, are showing the economy um, not growing as fast as people might have hoped, people are really saying, well, if interest rates are going to stay longer, that's underpinning stocks and uh, so uh, prices are rising and we've had a bit of a bounce in um, in the oil price, the iron oil price has stayed fairly firm, so, you know, certainly in Australia, we've had uh, today, certainly the uh, stocks have been driven by the resource stocks and it's been the industrial stocks that have been the laggards. And talking about the, the resource stocks there, uh, any good news with commodity prices? Yeah, well, uh, Brent price was up fairly strongly to just over $49. And, um, you know, it's been sort of doggedly around 47 48 so jumped just over a dollar. That's created a little bit of excitement. Um, meanwhile, lead and zinc remained fairly weak. Uh, lead at uh, 1610 and zinc at 1643 So they were down fairly solidly and the gold price is up in US dollar terms at 1136 and holding fairly steady around that 1604 1605 Aussies per ounce. Nickel price also quite weak at $4.49, uh, copper fairly steady at $2.36 a pound. But I think the, the big news was also in uh, the following of Glencore, the big Switzerland-based iron ore and coal and copper company, their shares uh, last week fell to a low of 67 pence and recovered in London last night to one pound and ten pence. So, been a massive jump in uh, in Glencore, and I think that provided a little bit of stability and strength to the market as well. And just thinking closer to home, uh, Impact Minerals have been reporting some positive results from their Red Hill mine, which is near Broken Hill. Yeah, look, th these are uh, pretty high-grade results, but still quite narrow, sort of 1.2 metres and so forth. Uh, we're waiting to see the final assays from those results, but you know the sort of grades of copper and uh, nickel that they're seeing is quite interesting, and previous results had quite high grades of, of platinum group metals as well. So it's really a matter of finding out how many tonnes at that sort of grade they have, but uh, they need to find some... You know, it'd be nice to see some intercepts of five to ten metres rather than sort of one or two metres, but it's certainly very encouraging at this early stage. And in terms of the, the, the prices there for those commodities, uh, how do they hold at the moment? Yeah, so uh, platinum hasn't really performed as well as gold. Um, sort of 18 months ago, platinum price was around about 1,500 US dollars an ounce, and today it's just barely over 900. So um, I guess you have to be taking a longer term view and say that you know over the long term perhaps the platinum price will be more like the sort of one thousand five hundred to one thousand six hundred dollars an ounce that it had been through two thousand and ten to two thousand and thirteen before its recent decline. And any other significant news on the mining front? Yeah, just over the border from you in um, South Australia, Oz Minerals has come up with a high grade zone in its Carapatina copper project and they've come up with 62 million tonnes at 2.9% copper equivalent and that's in an iron oxide copper gold deposit which also has um, gold and silver and a bit of uranium in it and so they're saying that they can they're looking at mining at 3 million tonnes per annum just this high grade core out of the Carapatina ore body you know they're looking to put a feasibility study by the middle of next year perhaps with a you know, it would be a two or three year time frame to develop an underground uh, ore body in that area. And the Reserve Bank holds firm on interest rates? Yeah, well, we, of course, the Reserve Bank today held its interest rate steady, um, which 
you know, the market initially was up about 60 or 70 points, but it only finished up about 15 at the end of the day. And just repeating, there were some pretty strong moves up uh, at the highs. The BHP and, uh, was up over 2% and Fortescue was up nearly 6%, but they weakened back during the, uh, the afternoon trade. And that was mining analyst Peter Strachan. Keep his finger on the pulse, Strachan.